Order. Order in the court. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I know you brought in a verdict of not guilty in the state's case against Jerry Williams for the murder of Thomas Blaine, and I do not blame you. The state did not produce sufficient evidence for you to have convicted him. This is most unfortunate in view of the fact that you know as well as I do that the defendant is guilty. But nevertheless, I must now discharge you as having done your duty as you saw fit. Will the defendant please rise? I guess you mean me, huh, Judge? Yes. I mean you, Mr. Williams. Okay. What's on your mind, Judge? You will desist from smelling that gardenia in your buttonhole and listen to what I have to say. Maybe I prefer smelling the flower. (laughs) Order. Order in this court. Mr. Williams. What has occurred in this courtroom during your trial is a gross miscarriage of justice. All of us here are well aware of that. And we are well aware of the fact that the state's witnesses fail to appear against you because you either bought them up or frightened them out of testifying against you. Ain't that a shame. (laughs) Because the prosecution failed to bring the proper evidence against you, Mr. Williams, I am powerless to do anything but let you go free. But while you have been tried for the murder of Thomas Blaine... Yeah, and free to the murder, too. Don't forget that. I am well aware of that, Mr. Williams. But I hope that you are as well aware that you have yet to stand trial for the murder of Frank Lash. Judge, you try me for a dozen murders if you haven't got anything better to do this season. I got ways of beating any rap you tag me with. Pretty flower of God's in you, isn't it, Judge? I just love the smell of them. And now on to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy, friend to those who have no friend. Here's your new gardenia, Jerry. Thanks, Mac. Ah, so doesn't that smell good? Yeah. Here, toss us all one in the wastebasket for us all. Gee, Rick, Jerry. <laughs> You know, these things keep better outside of jail. Must be the fresh air. He wrecked. <laughs> Judge let you out on bail for the Frank Lash draft. Well, he had to. Didn't want to seem prejudiced. Say, incidentally, <laughs> you fellas did a nice job acquainting those witnesses against me in the blind killing. <laughs> it was a pleasure to do it, Jerry. He wrecked. And we got the witnesses of the Lash killing all fixed, too. Right, Bozo? He wrecked. You ain't got a thing to worry about, Jerry. Good. Uh, say, there's a newscast on the radio right now. Let's see if the commentator's happy to know I'm a free man. Good idea. Yeah. Never mind, Bozo. I'll turn it on. Key wreck. When are they going to try you for the little job you did on Lash, huh? <laughs> I don't know. The date wasn't set. The judge didn't feel like chatting with me socially. <laughs> Snob, don't you think? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, God, Dean, you sure do smell good. Mm. Wonder if buttonholes are just made to hold flowers like this. Yeah, here's the news you want to hear. Oh, yeah. He was freed of the murder of Thomas Blaine. But Williams, out on bail, is still to be tried for the murder of Frank Lash, found shot to death in Williams' waterfront hideout six weeks ago. The state is confident of a conviction in the Lash murder case, and today announced that a surprise witness will testify against Williams. Uh You've heard this witness name before. It's Boston Blackie. State's attorney, John Gilligan, says Boston Blackie will appear in the trial again. Sure, sure. So Boston Blackie's going to testify against me, huh? We can take care of him just like we took care of the others, Jerry. Right, Bozo? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, fellas, I think you'll pay Blackie a little visit. This sort of puts the whammy on our plans for holding up that next bank truck, though, doesn't it? No, Jerry? no, 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 no. We'll go through with that according to schedule. But first, Mac, I think you better see Boston Blackie. Sure, Jerry. <laughs> and you too, Bozo. And just in case he wants to argue, uh... Take along, you persuader. Huh? <laughs> Key wreck. I'm sorry, Mary, but I, I, uh, I, I can't leave my apartment just now. Oh, why not, Blackie? You said you'd be here in over an hour, and it's been almost. I know, Mary. It's been almost two hours. Sorry, but I've been busy, and I'm still busy. Blackie, what's the matter? Nothing's the matter. I'm just busy. That's all. Blackie. Is something wrong? Of course not. I'll phone you tomorrow. Goodbye. <clears throat> now, uh, what were you boys saying? That you better suddenly have a very bad memory. Yeah. In regard to what? We told you. 
In regard to what you think you saw happen to Frank Lash. Oh, you're Jerry Williams' friend, huh? Yeah. I see. And my pal Bozo here has another kind of friend pointing at you through his pocket. Hold it so he can see it, Bozo. <laughs> he wrecked. See it, Blackie? Yes, quite well, thank you. Well, now, Bozo here can make you lose more than your memory if you don't play ball with us, Blackie. And what kind of ball do you fellows play? Eight ball with you behind it. Unless you decide to forget what you know about the Frank Lash killing. You know something, fellas? You're so nice and sweet about this, I think I'll follow your little suggestion. <laughs> in fact, I've never forgotten anything so fast in all my life. Well, that's nice. But look, Blackie, no tricks, see? If you're lying to us about this, you'll find that girl you were just talking to lying in the street. So cold she can freeze ice. Get me? Got you. And if you don't, we get her. Uh, See? I'm uh, going to try out, Blackie. Who was Frank Lash? Lash? Never heard of him. (laughs) Okay, Blackie. You'll do. Let's go, Mac. Blackie, you've cluttered up my office with some crazy ideas. But this is the craziest yet. Faraday, you've got to listen to me. You've got to lay off Jerry Williams and his gang. Nothing doing. I'm going to nab every last one of them, from Jerry on down. Faraday, if my head was as big and as hollow as yours, I'd run it out for a rehearsal hall. If you'll just do as I say, I'll see that you have the Williams gang. Not only rounded up, but convicted. Remember, I said convicted, but quick. How do you know how long it'll take? I don't, but I know if you do what I say, we'll get things done twice as fast. Look, I am not asking this for myself, but for Mary Wesley. Mary? What's she got to do with this? Nothing that she knows of. And part of the nothing is that the Williams gang will kill her if I remember what I know about Williams killing Lash. You you aren't going to forget to remember, are you? Yes, I am, Faraday. And Blackie, whose side are you on? I could arrest you for what you're planning to do. Look, if you don't forget Look, this... you do what I say, and I will remember. Uh, you'd better... What do you want me to do? Leave the Williams gang alone till I tell you when. Oh, I'm supposed to grab him, but I gotta wait till you tell me when. What what happens after that? Don't worry, Faraday. I'll not only tell you when, as usual, I'll tell you where and how. Mm, this waiting around gets on my nerves. What about you, Bozo? Me, Mac? <laughs> I ain't got no nerves. Yeah. I ain't got nothing except this stick of dynamite for a minute and uh, again to toss it when that bank clerk shows up. Working for Jerry is good for the pocketbook, but bad for the nerves. What happens if a cop passes by and wants to know why we're parked here? What happens? <laughs> I leave the dynamite for a second and I talk him out of it with this rod of mine. No. No cop killing, Bozo, do you hear? I heard, but I don't understand. Yeah. Only way there'll be no cop killing is if no cop shows up. Hey, Mac. It's a car coming. Yeah. It's a truck. The armor truck. Get ready, Bozo. Here they come. Yep. Here goes the dynamite. And... <laughs> there they go. Come on, we gotta grab that catch. Now it's Graham. He wreck. Hey. Truck's busted wide open, but the driver looks still alive. How long do you think he's gonna stay alive? Get him, Bozo. He's going for his gun. That's got him, Bozo. Now, let's haul this dough out of here fast. Here, wreck, Mac. Come on, work fast before we have visitors. Yeah. All right. Get that stuff over to our car, Bozo. Here, wreck. I'm getting it. All right. I'll grab this sack full here. Uh, That's the last of it. Uh, now, let's scram. Hey. Hey, somebody's coming. Come on, let's get out of here. Here, wreck, Mac. We're all set to go. Let's go, then. Hey, hey, inside the truck, what happened here? Hey, hey, hey holy mackerel. Oh. Hey, hey, you. Oh. Hey, what happened? We, we got held up. Held up? Yeah. Uh, did you get a look at the guys two, who... Two guys. What, what'd you say? Two, two guys in the car just now. Two of them, huh? That car just pulled away. Uh, oh. Did you know... Oh, too bad, pal. Well, I got a good look at them. I'll get even for you. Hello, Mary. Oh. Oh, 
it's you, Blackie. It's me, Blackie. Is your appetite so terrific that you need a table for two all by yourself? I've already eaten. Well, sit with me, then. I'm just having a sandwich. And, Mary, don't be angry. You didn't come to see me. I couldn't come to see you. I couldn't even call you up. And then you say, Mary, don't be angry. Just, just like that. Well, don't be, Mary. I, I, I... I don't want your excuses. I don't want your company. And, and, and right now, I don't even want your talk. Goodbye. Hey, wait a minute, Mary. Aren't you going to have any dessert? Not if I have to eat it with you standing here. Okay, but you're not going to stay angry at me, are you? I certainly am, and that's a promise. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, please keep that promise you made to me, Mary, because I've got to go to work and break a promise I made to the Jerry Williams gang. Now back to Boston Blackie. Gang leader Jerry Williams, under indictment for the murder of Frank Lash, hears that Boston Blackie is to be one of the witnesses against him. But Williams' gang threatens Blackie and his friend Mary Wesley with death if Blackie testifies. So Blackie promised to forget it. Feeling safe again, the Williams gang hijacked an armored truck killing its crew. As we return to our story, Inspector Faraday is questioning a witness for the hijacker. Look, Masters, didn't you tell me last night you could identify the men who held up that armored truck? Well, well, last night, Inspector Faraday, I was too excited to know what I was saying. You all knew what you were saying, all right. And you said those two men on the police lineup last night were the men you saw hijack that truck and kill the driver and his rider. I said that? I must have been crazy. I mean, I've never seen him before. Uh, what did the Williams gang threaten to do to you? Uh, you no did... one threatened me with anything. I just didn't get a good look at the hold of men, that's all. Uh, get out of here, Masters. Uh, sure, sure. Well, sorry, Inspector. Hey, you ought to be. Goodbye. Uh, of all the... Come in. Hello, Inspector. Get out of here, Blackie. I won't get out of here till I find out what I can get out of you. Look, you grabbed a couple of rats from the Williams gang for that hijacking last night, didn't you? Yeah, but I have to let them go. Mm, because the witness suddenly couldn't remember all mm. that. Just like you to bet on a sure thing. Never mind about that. I'd like to talk to you. And if you'll listen, I think you'll like what you hear. Who is it? Boston Blackie. Boston. Come in. My little company, Williams? Depends on whether or not the company minds me. So behave yourself, Blanky. You want me to be a good boy? Oh, now, Williams, there's no profit in being good. No? No. You ought to know that. You're one of the few men I know who disproves the theory that crime doesn't pay. <laughs> you know, Blanky, if you know what you're doing, anything pays. Mm. Yeah. Say, it's a nice new gardenia in your buttonhole there. Kind of a trademark, isn't it? I haven't been without a gardenia in my buttonhole in five years. Okay. An expensive hobby. Look, you have a good business here. I like the way it operates. You mean you like the way I run it? Maybe that's it. Anyway, I'd like to join you. You could use me. Yeah. I can use your head and I can use your hands, but I can't trust you. Well, try me out, then. On a job, huh? <laughs> Would you open the vault at the National Bank? Ah, uh, too tough, especially for a job where I'd be on trial. I think you ought to give me something a little easier to start out. Huh. So you're on the level about one of you, aren't you? If you'd enjoy the, uh, National Bank job, I would have known you were trying to trap me. What about it? Am I in? <laughs> Well, I could use you on the safe of the Jones Express Company. I'll have a big cash sh shipment through tomorrow night. Would you uh, open that one for me? I don't know. I'd have to see it first. There are some safes even I can't open. All right, Blackie. I still don't trust you. But I'm going to let you in. From now on, until the Jones Express job is over, though, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Out of my gun sight. If I try to tip off the cops, I'll get it. That's it, huh? Mm-hmm. Look, I'm willing to come in on your terms, but you have to do a couple of things for me. What, for instance? Well, for one instance, I'd like to know who I'm working with. Who's in your gang? Gang? <laughs> I have three boys working for me. Only three? That's all. But they're great. There's Mac McPherson, for one. Oh, yes, I know him. And Harry Tobin, he scares people into lapses of memory. 
Does very well, too. So Tobin's with you, huh? Well, you have a nice crew. Oh, you bet I have. Bozo Leach is a third member. Oh, too, don't you? By reputation on his visit to me yesterday. Well, those are the boys you work with. Satisfied? Yes, I think so. Now, about the second thing you've got to do for me. I'd like to write a letter. Uh Uh-uh. Nothing to me, Blackie. But look, it's just to Mary Wesley, and it's really for your sake. For my sake? How do you figure that? You say you're not going to let me out of your sight until the job is over. Well, if I'm not around tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night, Mary's going to get excited. Cops will be looking for me everywhere. Well, that sounds right. Okay, you can send her a letter, only uh, I'll write it. You just sign it. Well? It's all right with me. But I think I'd better send a special delivery. Send it any way you want. Good enough. Now, when do I get to see the safe at the Jones Express Company? Right now. But remember, Blackie, I'll have a gun in your back all the way. The first phony move, and it's your last. That's the safe over there, Blackie. Can you open it? Where, Jerry? You can see it behind that big stack of labels on the table. Oh, yeah, I see it. I'll walk over and pretend to be inspecting the labels on that table in front of the safe. Let you know then. Coming? <laughs> you know I am, sweetheart. <laughs> I know. Well, Blackie? Yeah. Yeah, I can open. All right. But no funny stuff when we get outside. No worry. Funny stuff, and you're the one who'll have to worry. Say, may I mail my letter to Mary Wesley now? Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, see if that's the letter I addressed. Uh, yeah. Okay, mail it. Let me go back to my place. And tomorrow night, Blackie, you open that safe in the Jones Express Company. Well, come on, come on. How soon will you have the safe open, Blackie? It's open now, Jerry. I think. Yeah, there it is. Good. This is where we get out of here. Come on, the boys are waiting outside to come in and get the money. You still don't trust me, huh? Nope. This gun of mine is still in your bag. Come on. All right. All I wanted you for was open the safe. The boys out here will pick up the dough and meet us later. They know the hideout you picked out, and I warned them about the watchman. Psst. Psst. Harry. Yeah, Jerry. You, Bozo, and Mac, go and get the dough. Okay. Ready, Bozo? Key wreck. Come on, Mac. Like and I'll meet you at the mill house at midnight. All right, so long, fellas. Good luck. Come on, Blackie, to the car you drive. Sure. Uh, well, so far, so good. All right, let's get out of here. This is me. I have one stop I want to make before we get to the mill house. One stop, nothing. We're going straight. But I have to make the stop. Hey. Now, what's all the shooting for? The watchman must have made an appearance. Your boys said they were going to take care of him. Guess they did. Oh, yeah, the watchman. Uh-huh. I guess they took care of him, all right. <laughs> nice boys, aren't they? So this is a stop you wanted to make, Blackie, at a florist? That's right. Come on in. I'll be careful what you say here, Blackie. Ah, oh, good evening, gentlemen. Well, what can I do for you? I'd like a gardenia, please. A gardenia, huh? all right, of course. Just a minute, sir. Hey, hey, what's the idea, Blackie? Oh, Jerry, we've just pulled a great job. You like gardenias, so I thought I'd buy you one. Sort of a token of, uh, well, uh, partnership. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot, Blackie, but, uh... Look, you let me in, didn't you? Well, I want to show my appreciation yeah, for that sort of... Here you are. I suppose you want it in a box. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll take it. Oh. Here. Well, let's go, Jerry. We've got a pressing date that will relieve what you have pressing against my back, I hope. Uh, I'd have to pick this creepy mill house to meet the boys, Blackie. <laughs> My God, Zinnia doesn't smell as good out here. Here, yeah, well, the one I bought you. Huh? You're always hiding out in a swank place, Jerry. I figured this would be the last place in the world the cops would think to look for you. Well, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> I don't like the looks of that river running under the floor here. You know, the boy should have been here 15 minutes ago. 
Can't figure it. They're always on time. Say, when are you going to put your gun away? I'm getting a little tired of looking I'll at it. I'll put it away when the boys get here. Hey. hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's an awful lot of shootings we pulled away from that job. Too much shooting for killing just one guard, but just enough for shooting three guys. The more blackie don't move. What's the matter? You know what the matter is. This whole deal's been a double cross, hasn't it? What do you mean? I mean, after you and I left the express company, the boys walked into a trap. And they got the boys, huh? Maybe. Maybe nothing. I don't know how you did it, Blackie, because I was with you all the time. I never let you out of my sight, but... You tipped off the cops and the boys are dead, aren't they? Well, I wouldn't wait here for them too long, if I were you. Don't worry, I'm not. You probably got the cops on the way here, too, but... They won't find me, Blackie, just you, and all they'll find of you is your body. You mean you'd kill me after I gave you that lovely gardenia? Yeah, I love gardenias. But, Blackie, I don't like double crosses. Stand still, stand still. (laughs) I'm going to enjoy this. Now, first, thank you for the gardenia. You know, I always sniff a gardenia before I kill a guy. <sighs> now, Blackie. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well, say. Say, what's the matter with me? You're going to sleep, Jerry, because there's chloroform on that gardenia. Well, and there's a sleeping potion in this fist of mine, too. <laughs> You all right? Well, Inspector Faraday, late as usual. Yes, I'm all right. And this sleeping beauty on the floor here, he's all yours. Oh, it's a lovely afternoon for a walk, isn't it, Blackie? Well, that depends on whether you're forgiven for doubting me. Oh. Yesterday, Mary. Oh, yes. Well, am I? <laughs> you are. Good. You know, I understand now why you didn't want to see me. It was for my own protection, wasn't it? But there are a couple of things I don't understand. What were those? Well, for one, how did Inspector Faraday know that you were going to rob the Jones Express Company safe? Oh, I sent him a Jones Express Company label, Mary. He pasted it on the back of an envelope addressed to you. Yes, but I didn't get any letter from you. <laughs> I know, Mary. I knew Williams would never let me write to Faraday, so before I went out to join his gang, I told Faraday to watch your mailbox. Any letter sent special delivery to you would be a message to him. All he had to see was that label, and he knew where the Williams gang was going to work. I see. Very, very clever. But uh, now, my friend, just a minute. How did you get a gardenia with chloroform on it? Well, that was arranged with the florist, Mary, before I went to see Williams. Oh, I see. Well, your arrangement certainly worked out, Blackie. I see where Jerry Williams is going to be tried for the last murder. Yes, and the witnesses have come forward and promised to tell all this time. Why shouldn't they? Mr. Williams doesn't have any more on the outside to intimidate them. All the members of his gang were killed when they tried to shoot it out with the police at the Jones Express office, weren't they? Oh, Black. What? What's wrong? Look at the lovely flowers in this florist window here. I get it. What kind would you like? One of those lovely gardenias. You know, everybody loves gardenias, Blackie. Really? Ask Mr. Jerry Williams what he thinks of gardenias, Mary. He'll tell you that to him, they were poison ivy. 